Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Android app development for beginners. In this video and the next few videos, I will be teaching you how to use action bars in Android. So first of all, what is an action bar in our Android app? So whenever we open our Android app, this black strip you can see here where your app title is there or you can see some overflow menu here. It's called an action bar and to action bar you can add your app icon, your app title and some of the settings. For example, uh, you can add about uh, your app, some information or some settings or some search icon and some sub menu if you want. So let's see how we can use this action bar and how we can uh, use our custom uh, icons here in the sub menu so let's get started first of all open your android studio and i'm going to create a new android application and i'm going to name it as uh, action demo for example and then i'm going to click next and uh, one thing you need to notice here is this action bar is available after android 3.0 or after api 11 including uh, this uh, API 11 and Android 3.0. So if you want to uh, see action bar on your Android app, you need to choose uh, uh, this API level, which is API level 11 or above. Before that uh, action bar was not available. So for example, I choose this API level 12 or Android 3.1 and uh, then I'm going to click next and I'm going to create a blank activity and click finish. So my project is created now and this is a blank project and when I run this uh, app like this, my blank app runs and I can see the default action bar is provided by Android to us which has uh, the title so action demo and the sub menu you can say here and this three dots here are called overflow menu and overflow uh, means that something is hidden behind it or uh, you can uh, you know show multiple uh, icons or sub menus here and uh, you can even add an icon to your uh, action bar which I'm going to show you how you can add your app icon here and how to add your customized uh, overflow items okay so let's get started first of all let's see uh, how and where this action bar uh, menu resides in our project so first of all I'm going to uh, remove this hello world from here and then I'm going to go to my Android manifest.xml file. And in here, in the Android theme, you will be able to see style slash app theme. So in style.xml file, this theme, your app theme is there. So I'm going to go to this values folder and inside this, I will be able to see the styles.xml file. And in here, I can see the theme of uh, my action bar. So I can see that my uh, style name is app theme and parent is theme dot app compat dot light dot dark action bar. So this action bar is already present in my app, right? Now, what are the methods which are responsible to open this action bar? So when you go to your uh, main activity.java file, you can see these two methods. One is called on create option menu and second is on options item selected. Okay, so these two uh, methods are responsible for showing and some actions for this action bar. Okay, and when you go to your menu folder here so go to menu and in menu underscore main dot xml file you will be able to see here you can see 
this action settings so you have your menu and inside your menu you have some uh, menu items and first menu item here is called settings okay so you can see here we have the settings menu here okay and uh, it says that show as action never this we will discuss uh, in a while but uh, now let's uh, do it by ourselves so once again i'm going to go to my main activity dot java and in here this on create option menu is responsible for my menu main so it's uh, going to inflate my menu main whenever this uh, method is called and this is responsible for my items in the menu so you can see uh, there is a menu called settings which is called uh, by this function or method so let's delete these two methods and uh, we are going to create uh, them from scratch so we will be able to understand how they work uh, in a better way okay so let's delete them and first of all for example i want to add an icon to my action bar how can i do it so let's see how we can add an icon to our action bar so go inside your on create method and here we will declare a action bar object so action bar ab is equal to get action bar so just right get action bar and then from this action bar we can uh, select a logo for our application so just write ab dot set logo and if you know in our drawable folder there are already some default uh, icons available for example this ic launcher so I'm going to use this default icon, but you can use your own app icon. Just uh, you need to paste your icon inside this drawable folder and it's going to work. Okay. And that we will also cover in the later video or in the next video itself, how we can add uh, some icons here. But right now I'm going to add a default icon. So just call r dot drawable dot ic launcher okay so this is the icon now i can see this set logo is giving me this error here and it says call require api level 14 okay and we are using i think api level 12 so we need to add some supporting uh, library to it so how we can do it we can instead of using get action bar we can use get supported action bar so get supported action bar and it's going to give us this red bulb here and when you click on this bulb it's going to say that change variable ab type to android support dot v7 dot app dot action bar so we will do this and it's going to add this supporting library okay and then we can uh, set our display logo enabled so ab dot set display logo enabled this one and we are going to set it as true and one more thing we need is ab dot display show home enable okay so set display show home enabled is equal to true okay so this method is going to enable your uh, logo and this method is going to enable your uh, home okay so now we are going to run our program or app and now our app is running and we can see here this icon is shown here so this is the default icon which we have used and now our app has this icon here okay and you will also notice that here this overflow uh, menu is gone because we have deleted those two method uh, below which are responsible for this method okay or this item here so we are going to add this manually in the next video and uh, we will see how we can add 
menu items to our action bars in the next video so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now